I'm sure he'll be glad to hear that. Last night, The First Lady aired its first of 10 episodes. And in one of the storylines, Viola Davis plays Michelle Obama. And the Oscar, Emmy, and Tony winning actress told Entertainment Tonight that her actual friendship with Michelle meant that she had to get this right. There's a sister bond there Absolutely. for me. So it's a girl code. It's like, I got to make the sister look good. But she also told Entertainment Weekly she realized what a difficult task it was going to be to play someone that is so well known to current audiences. They know how she talks, <laughs> how she walks, how she wears her hair, the different incarnations of her eyebrows. <laughs> I didn't feel like I could approach it like any other character. And it might be because audiences are so familiar with Michelle that they are reacting to Viola's performance unlike any other. Ma'am? Ma'am, that's going to take some getting used to. I was on the fence about covering this, not because of the enormity of it, because Viola was trending last night because of this, but because Twitter is an awful place and people are negative in order to get traction, in order to get attention. So some of it is not legit criticism. But I went through what people were actually saying, and there was legit criticism of this performance. So I grabbed a few of the tweets. Viola Davis might be going to hell, I don't know, with a screenshot from the show. Michelle Obama did not purse her lips that much. What possessed Viola to think she should do that in every scene? I never thought I would see the day where Viola Davis gave a bad performance. A lot of people were talking about this specific moment. You know why? You're a You're a nigga. Okay, Viola Davis, you're scaring me, girl. I know Michelle Obama is throwing up crying. If I were Michelle Obama and ran into Viola Davis at an event, I wouldn't even speak. Michelle, watching Viola Davis, make those faces. It's highly unlikely that Viola is seeing this criticism because she told Extra at the premiere that when a project is released, she hibernates. Here's the thing, with every, every piece of work I do, I hide afterwards. <laughs> Viola would be happy to know that some people started defending her I'm not defending this performance, but defending her saying she's a fantastic actress, so she's allowed to make a misstep. Viola Davis does one questionable role and people acting like she's not a good actor. Viola Davis, I'm gonna stick beside her. Someone set my sis up, we'll get through this. And her monologue from Doubt, which she earned an Oscar nomination for with under eight minutes of screen time, started circulating on Twitter again to show off just how good she is. Jimmy Kimmel loved her take on Michelle Obama. It's crazy how much you became Michelle Obama. And I'm glad it's over. Are you? <laughs> Regardless of the audience reaction, Viola is only truly worried about what her friend thinks. I don't want Michelle Obama calling me, cussing me out. You just go, okay, Michelle, I messed up. And she's not seeking out Michelle's thoughts on it either. Spoken to Michelle and said, hey, here's what's coming. This is, uh, I'm doing you. No. You did not. I'm hiding from Michelle. I see. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Viola can hide all she wants, but I'm sure we'll hear Michelle's opinion about the First Lady eventually. I haven't seen the entire first episode yet, and of course there's going to be 10 episodes, so I'm not going to make a judgment about Viola's performance because often it is quite jarring to see an actor that we know so well in terms of their mannerisms, etc., play someone that we also know so well. There's always an adjustment period that needs to happen, so you can't judge this performance based on clips. I think you really need to see Viola across one, even 10 episodes to see what she does with Michelle Obama and if it works in the end. And regardless of what I think of her performance, I'll say the same thing that I said about uh, the backlash that Nicole Kimmon got when she was cast as Lucille Ball, even before a single scene was shot, that an actress of their level, they've earned the right to take a chance. And I applaud them for doing that. Like they could sit back and just coast through the career at this point, make some money and yeah, not challenge themselves in any kind of way. But no, people like Viola are still taking chances. They're still taking risks. So I applaud that. It might not work, but that's okay because they've earned the right to make a mistake. And so, yeah, so Viola as Michelle, Nicole as Lucy, even Julianne Moore singing for the first time in a movie last year in Dear Evan Hansen. And I felt so Small. I love both Nicole and Julianne's performances last year. I know with Nicole especially, there were still the detractors from her performance as Lucille Ball, and that's okay, but it doesn't hurt their reputation just if they happen to make one misstep. So I applaud these actresses taking chances at this point. Uh, yeah, we'll see what I think of Viola's performance. But yeah, what do you think of the criticism of Viola's first lady work?